Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing a uh, preview of today's Santa Anita card. It's kind of a weird day off here, so I had a little time to do stuff like this. And I know that Steve has been putting out some uh, videos as well. I figured I would make a guest appearance and do mine for Santa Anita, since I just happened to have looked at the card. And I happen to do see some decent values. So just a couple of, um, of regular disclaimers is that, you know, don't bet anything until about five minutes to post, um, because you need to... You know, you need to make sure the odds are close to at least when I'm recommending them at. The other thing, again, is, you know, I'm not going to get into all the details of how I go over my picks and how I go over my analysis. Just rest assured that um, that these picks are going to be highly EV and, you know, quite a bit of variance. And sometimes, you know, if you live long enough to get to the long run, this will certainly do better than your picks and they will almost definitely make you money in the long run. But uh, there's a lot of variance involved in horse racing, obviously, but if you're around doing nothing and want to degen a little bit, or better, if you are already going to bet horses, uh, this is even probably better for you. Anyway, we only have 30 minutes to post for race one, so I want to get this out with at least 15 minutes to post, so let's just go through this. Uh, the first bit of value coming right off the bat is in race number one. Uh, I think that the two and the four, Freedom Flyer and Lady J, are both extremely long, given their odds. So if you get anything resembling these prices of 10 to 1 and 39 to 1, um, even 10 to 1 and 12 to 1, uh, I think is fine. I think they're both extremely long for their price. I think the 6 is okay also. Uh, it's a pretty decent favorite, but these two are clearly the best values in the race. Um, oh, by the way, if you also want to thank me, um, you can check out our other content at truedfs.com. Uh, also, if you want to sign up with X, XB Select, which is where I've been doing my horse racing wagering online for about 20 years. Um, just sign up with them, use the promo code TRUEDFS, and I think that you get something for that. I don't know exactly what. Nonetheless, uh, moving on, race number two is a, another bit of value. Just just incredible, actually. Well, I shouldn't say that, but uh, point and shoot at eight to one is, is clearly the best value in the race. Um, I think the one, four, and five are okay. Uh, but make no mistake, the nine at eight to one is kind of an insult. Um, and I would clearly key this horse. So, I mean, if you wanted to really go for the throat right off the bat, you could do a two, four leg one with the nine in leg two. Um, really, really strong daily doubles there. Uh, race three. Um, I don't have much. I think it's just a wheel. I wouldn't touch this race at all. Race number four. Um, I think the five. Uh, I know. Wanted to check something. Um, one second. Just want to make sure this is what I thought it was. Temper. Okay, so. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, so race four is another bit of extremely strong value here. Um, the five horse at 10 to one is pretty awesome. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> uh, it should not be 10 to one. It probably won't be 10 to one with the one out at six to five. It might even be the favorite who knows, but if you get anything over five to one on this horse, I think it's extremely strong value. So uh, that's that. Moving on to race five, it's really not a good betting race. The seven is the most likely winner, but it's definitely a wheel. Um, so if anything, I would use all in this race. Race number six, uh, I think the three is sort of a lock here at, at four to one. Um, not a lot of value you can get there. So I wouldn't go crazy. Um, race number seven, I think the one and the six are are, are both okay not getting a lot of value here. I think the one is probably the best value. I mean, he's only carrying 115 pounds at six to one. I think it's just as likely to win as the six. So I think the one is the best value in that race. Uh, that's in race seven. Sorry about that. Race eight. I think the two and the seven are both extremely long for their price. Respect the code 12 to one morning line and seven Zofarelli at 10 to one morning line. I think those are extremely strong. Uh, race number nine. I think the three at 15 to one is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I think that has sources at least, a, I don't know, 20% chance to win. 
You know, I think this horse should be at most five to one, 15 to one is just ex extreme value. And in the long run, you're going to win betting horses like this. And then race number 10, I think the one is the most likely winner or at least close. And he's going off at six to one. So um, I think that overall, there's extremely strong values uh, on this card. So just to kind of review, because I had to pause for a second there, race one, the two and the four, extremely strong race two, the nine, that would be point and shoot race three, nothing race four, the five horse uh, Kimmer. And then uh, I guess the next really strong value is in race nine, the three, actually race eight, the two, seven strong values. And then race nine, the three extremely strong value. And then in race number 10, the one. So I uh, listen, if they all lose, what can I tell you? But uh, I'm betting all these. And uh, even if the price are remotely close to what uh, they sh what they are on the board right now. All right, that'll do it. Sorry to be all scatterbrained about this, but had a little time. I figured I would just throw this up there. Good luck, everybody.